I have three children, and when my children were teenagers, I sometimes would feel between a rock and a hard place in responding to the way they were acting with me and then reflecting on how I was when I was a teenager. One of the things that my children used to do if they did something wrong or they made a mistake, their knee-jerk response was, my bad which really bothered me as an adult because it seems to me that if someone's saying, from my perspective, someone's saying, my bad, they're not really taking responsibility for what they did. And I want my children to take responsibility for what they did. And when they, if they're with me, I want them to respect me and take responsibility. Well, when my kids were younger, I took the parent encouragement program. It's a child, uh, it's a class here teaches you how to be a good parent. And one of the things that they taught is that teenagers' brains are not fully developed. Their, their synapses in their brains are still making connections. So teenagers will do things that they think are normal when adults look at those things and they just seem totally outrageous. But, you know, even though I was learning that, it really didn't help my kids whenever I was dealing with their response, my bad. But then I started to reflect on how I was when a teenager, when I was a teenager, and I started to come around. One, one thing I remember is I grew up in a small town, a little suburb outside of Chicago, and all of my family was around there. My grandparents lived there, my aunts and uncles were in the town. And one time my mom took my brothers and my sister and me to visit my grandmother. And when we arrived, my grandmother had just pulled in the driveway. Her trunk was open, filled with bags of stuff, she had gone shopping. So the kids were going to help my grandmother take all the things into the house. So we all grab bags and we go up the stairs and into the living room, down the hall, into the kitchen, and we're taking all of the stuff. I was a teenager at the time. And one time there was a big clear plastic bottle. So I took that. It was big and heavy, so that's the only thing I took. Big clear plastic bottle full of clear liquid. And I, was, I walked up the stairs and I was walking through the living room and I was reading the bottle it said rug cleaner. And there's something else about it that really fascinated me. Because the label on the bottle said <laughs> shatterproof. <laughs> I don't know if because I was a teenager, you know, all the synapses hadn't made the connection, but I was walking there, standing in the living room, fascinated, reading it shatterproof, and I thought, shatterproof? This I've got to see. <laughs> so I took that bottle, I, and I held it over the rug, and I let go of it, and it fell onto the rug. Well, sure enough, it didn't shatter. It didn't break into little tiny pieces, but it did break, and the the fluid went all over the place. Oh shit! I thought, my grandmother was in the kitchen. My mother was in the kitchen. What was I going to do? Well, I went into the kitchen. I told my grandmother what happened. She started yelling at me. My mother started yelling at me. Everybody was going crazy. My grandma, my mom, all the kids and I, we grabbed rags and we went into the living room and we started to clean that up. Now, I was a teenager, so I, I caught an attitude at that point. I thought, what's the big deal? It's rug cleaner, it's on the rug, and we're cleaning it up with rags. Well, you know, in retrospect, from an adult perspective, I think that's one of the stupidest things I've ever done, you know, but I was a teenager at the time. And now, with my more enlightened modern day uh, perspective, there's only one thing I can say about that. My bad. <laughs>